Bad Parenting follows the depressing story of a young boy with parents struggling to get ends meet. The mother is hardworking and is basically the only breadwinner of the family, while the father just sits at home all day and drinks booze. One day, the mother returns home to meet her son at the door, who asks her for his birthday gift, which the mother apparently forgot, but she says that the red-faced man will visit him and give him a gift if he sleeps early. Soon, his father comes and starts an argument with the mother yelling at her for coming home late at night and making a fool out of their son before yelling at the child to go to bed. The child goes to sleep and wakes up to find a red-faced man dropping off his gift and hiding in his cupboard. He picks up his gift which turns out to be a talking doll that carries resemblance to the child and asks him to go outside for breakfast. The doll says to eat to try eating his food and see if it refills again on his own to which it actually does which is surprises the child. He asked the doll where his father is, to which he replies that a red-faced man took him as he was a bad father, but the child pleads that it is not true and that he needs to save him. The doll, although reluctant, agrees to help him and tells him to enter the closet in his room as it will act as a portal to another dimension. The boy tries to open it, but it does not open, which is why the doll tells him to use his parents' closet instead, and using it, the boy eventually reaches lim a limbo-like place where he finds several other children there trying to save their parents, and they guide him to where his father is, which is basically a room with a bed on which his father lies frozen in fear. The boy searches around the room to find something to help his father with and he only finds a card with spell written on it before a pair of hands knock him out. The boy wakes up to his mom telling him to calm down and that she will take care of him the next day but when the next day arrives he finds out from the beaten up doll that a red-faced man took his mother as well so he goes after her in the same limbo place and uses the card to blow up the red-faced man. Returning back, the boy finds the doll burned, which explains that since he defeated the red-faced man, the magic is fading from the doll as well and that he should go outside to see his parents. The boy is happy to see both of his parents alive and well, but it soon turns very disturbing as we get to see the father abusing and accusing his wife for having an affair and the wife leaving him. The father turns to drinking alcohols, so much so that his face turns red. The boy tries to talk to him but he ignores him and goes to his room where the boy is surprised to see himself in bed with the father breaking his neck and hiding his body in the closet. The boy could not believe his eyes and the doll appears and the doll appears telling him that the red-faced man was something that he imagined and that the doll is the reality part of his subconscious. He then opens the closet to find his dead rotting body, to which he comes to know that it's been seven days since his death. The doll explains that his mother could see him alive at night, but at daytime she discovered his rotting body and starts crying. She then contacts the police and while answering their questions, she drops the card of the nearby motel where the husband is hiding in. Inside the motel, the husband is shown lying still, frozen in fear as he is haunted by the dead soul of his child. Soon, the father gets arrested and the boy passes on to the afterlife where he meets the same kids he met back in Limbo, where it is revealed that they too were murdered by their bad parents.